Hydroponics is a fantastic way to grow plants without soil. Instead of soil, plants get nutrients from a water-based solution. This makes nutrient management super important. Without the right nutrients in the right amounts, your plants won't grow to their full potential. In this essay, we'll dive deep into the world of hydroponic nutrients. We'll cover everything from the types of nutrients to feeding schedules. You'll learn about pH and EC balance and how to troubleshoot common problems. Whether you're a newbie or a seasoned grower, this guide has something for you. Let's get started. Just like us, plants need a balanced diet to thrive. In hydroponics, we provide these nutrients directly in the water. Let's break down the essential nutrients into three categories, macronutrients, secondary nutrients, and micronutrients. Macronutrients are the heavy lifters. They are needed in large quantities and play a vital role in plant growth and development. The big three are nitrogen for leafy green growth, phosphorus for root development and flowering, and potassium for overall plant health and fruit production. Secondary nutrients are needed in moderate amounts and are essential for specific plant functions. Calcium strengthens cell walls and aids in nutrient uptake. Magnesium is crucial for chlorophyll production, the pigment that makes plants green and helps them photosynthesize. Sulfur is involved in protein synthesis and the formation of essential oils. Micronutrients, while needed in tiny amounts, are equally important. They act as catalysts in various plant processes. Iron is vital for chlorophyll production. Zinc aids in enzyme activity and hormone regulation. Manganese is involved in photosynthesis and nitrogen metabolism. Boron assists in cell wall formation and sugar transport. Copper plays a role in enzyme activity and chlorophyll production. Finally, molybdenum is essential for nitrogen fixation and nitrate reduction. Now that you know what nutrients your plants need, let's talk about how to provide them. Choosing the right hydroponic nutrients can be overwhelming with so many options available. The most common types are liquid nutrients, powdered nutrients, and organic nutrients. Liquid nutrients are pre-mixed and easy to use, making them great for beginners. They are often available in different formulations for vegetative and flowering stages. Powdered nutrients are more concentrated and economical, especially for larger systems. You mix them with water according to the manufacturer's instructions. Organic nutrients are derived from natural sources and are popular among environmentally conscious growers. They promote sustainable growing practices and can enhance the flavor and aroma of your crops. Look for certified organic nutrients to ensure quality and compliance. When selecting a brand, consider factors like your plant type, growing system, and budget. Some popular hydroponic nutrient brands include General Hydroponics, Fox Farm, Advanced Nutrients, and DynaGrow. Research and compare different brands to find the best fit for your needs. Feeding your hydroponic plants is not a one-size-fits-all approach. Different plants and growth stages require different nutrient concentrations and ratios. It's important to follow a feeding schedule that aligns with your plant's needs. During the seedling stage, use a diluted nutrient solution with a lower concentration of nutrients, especially nitrogen. As plants enter the vegetative growth stage, gradually increase the nutrient strength and focus on providing plenty of nitrogen for leafy green growth. Once flowering begins, switch to a bloom formula that's higher in phosphorus and potassium to support bud and fruit development. In the final weeks before harvest, flush your system with plain water or a flushing solution to remove excess nutrients from the root zone. This improves the flavor and aroma of your harvest. Remember that these are general guidelines and you may need to adjust the feeding schedule based on your specific plant species, environmental conditions, and observations of your plant's health. Section 5. Mixing Magic, a step-by-step -step guide to nutrient solutions. Mixing your hydroponic nutrient solution might seem intimidating, but it's simpler than you think. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to ensure you're providing the perfect blend of nutrients for your plants. First, start with clean water. Use filtered or distilled water. Measure carefully. Use separate tools for each nutrient. Add nutrients gradually. Always add nutrients to the water. Stir gently. Check pH and adjust. Use a pH meter or test kit. Ideal pH is between 5.5 and 6.5. Adjust pH as needed. Measure EC and adjust. Use an EC meter for nutrient concentration. Different plants need different EC levels. Adjust by adding nutrients or diluting with water. Let it settle for a few hours. This stabilizes pH and EC. Follow nutrient brand instructions and adjust dosage based on your plant's needs. 
Section 6 The Balancing Act, pH and EC in Hydroponics In hydroponics understanding pH and EC is crucial for nutrient availability and plant health. pH refers to the acidity or alkalinity of the nutrient solution, while EC measures its electrical conductivity, which is directly related to the concentration of dissolved salts or nutrients. pH plays a vital role in nutrient absorption. Each nutrient has an optimal pH range where it's most readily available to plants. If the pH is too high or too low, certain nutrients can become locked out, meaning plants can't absorb them, leading to deficiencies. The ideal pH range for most hydroponic crops is between 5.5 and 6.5. However, some plants like blueberries prefer a more acidic environment. Regularly monitor your pH levels using a pH meter or test kit and adjust accordingly using pH up or down solutions. EC, on the other hand, measures the total dissolved salts in your nutrient solution, giving you an indication of its strength. A higher EC means a more concentrated solution. Different plants and growth stages have different EC requirements. Seedlings and young plants prefer lower EC levels, while mature plants and those in heavy fruiting or flowering stages can tolerate higher EC levels. Monitoring EC is crucial to prevent over-fertilizing or under-fertilizing your plants. Use an EC meter to measure your solution's strength and adjust it by adding more nutrients or diluting with plain water as needed. Section 7. Troubleshooting Nutrient Deficiencies, Symptoms and Solutions Even with the best intentions, nutrient deficiencies can still occur in hydroponics. Identifying and addressing these issues early on is essential for preventing long-term damage to your plant's health and yields. Nutrient deficiencies often manifest as visible symptoms in your plants. Yellowing leaves, stunted growth, and leaf discoloration are common signs. However, different deficiencies exhibit specific symptoms, making it easier to pinpoint the problem. For instance, nitrogen deficiency usually presents as yellowing of older, lower leaves, while magnesium deficiency causes yellowing between the veins of newer leaves. Iron deficiency often leads to yellowing of new growth with green veins. Once you've identified the deficiency, you can take steps to correct it. Adjust your nutrient solution to provide the lacking nutrient, ensuring the pH and EC are within the optimal range for absorption. In some cases, a foliar spray directly onto the leaves can provide a quick boost of the deficient nutrient. Remember that over-fertilizing can also harm your plants, so it's crucial to diagnose the problem accurately before making significant changes to your nutrient regimen. Section 8. Keeping it fresh. When to change your hydroponic nutrients. Unlike soil, which provides a buffer for nutrients, hydroponic systems require regular nutrient solution changes to ensure your plants have access to a constant supply of fresh nutrients and to prevent the buildup of salts and potential pathogens. The frequency of nutrient solution changes depends on several factors, including the size of your hydroponic system, the type of plants you're growing, the growth stage, and the environmental conditions. As a general guideline, smaller systems might need changes every one to two weeks, while larger systems with more plants can go a bit longer, around two to three weeks. However, it's essential to monitor your system closely and look for signs that indicate it's time for a change. One obvious sign is a significant drop in the water level, indicating that your plants are drinking up the nutrients. Another indicator is a change in the solution's appearance or odor. If it becomes cloudy, discolored, or develops an unpleasant smell, it's time for a refresh. Regularly monitoring your pH and EC levels can also provide clues about your nutrient solution's health. Significant fluctuations in these parameters suggest that the solution is becoming depleted and needs replacing. Section 9. The Great Debate, Organic versus Synthetic Nutrients in Hydroponics The choice between organic and synthetic nutrients is a common debate among hydroponic growers. Both options have their pros and cons, and the best choice for you depends on your growing style, preferences, and goals. Synthetic nutrients, also known as mineral nutrients, are manufactured chemically and provide precise control over nutrient ratios and concentrations. They are readily available to plants and offer consistent results, making them popular among commercial growers and those seeking maximum yields. On the other hand, organic nutrients are derived from natural sources such as plant or animal byproducts. They are considered more environmentally friendly and can enhance the flavor, aroma, and nutritional value of your crops, However, they require more careful management as they are broken down by microorganisms in the hydroponic system, 
Ultimately, the best choice depends on your priorities. If you prioritize precision, consistency, and maximum yields, synthetic nutrients might be the way to go. But if you value sustainability, environmental impact and enhanced flavor organic nutrients could be a better fit. Section 10. Mastering Nutrient Management for Hydroponic Success In the world of hydroponics, mastering nutrient management is the key to unlocking your plant's full potential. By understanding the essential nutrients, choosing the right nutrient solutions, and maintaining optimal pH and EC levels, you can create an ideal environment for your plants to thrive. Remember to adjust your feeding schedules based on the specific needs of your plants and monitor them closely for any signs of deficiencies or imbalances. Regularly changing your hydroponic solution ensures a fresh supply of nutrients and prevents the buildup of harmful substances. As you gain experience and knowledge, you can fine-tune your hydroponic feeding schedules and nutrient management techniques to achieve even greater success. Embrace the learning process, experiment with different approaches, and enjoy the journey of growing delicious and nutritious food in your own hydroponic